Hey FTD fam, this is Khalil with another video um, where we'll be taking a look at um, two Quran verses that led this Jewish musician to Islam. I remember there are previous videos that where we talked about, uh, or rather where we seen others leave Christianity. I think there was someone that left Buddhism. There are different people that left different things to come to Islam and it always intrigues me as to why. Because again, there are a lot of similarities, but as I'm understanding more and more, there's a lot of differences. But yeah, let, let's take a look at this. I'm interested to see what these verses are, uh, how they translate into this musician's life and uh, see the journey that he had to go on to make this decision to make Islam uh, his, his path. Let's take a look together. Human lives are precious. Everyone holds something, or someone dear. Everyone has a purpose they strive for, and everyone has values they'd like to uphold. But the best part about being human is the fact that life is ever-changing. We can enjoy a fresh start anytime we want, and sometimes all it takes is two verses from a holy book. Louis was born in London and raised in the care of his loving parents as a Jew. As a child, he attended all of the major religious festivals and visited the synagogue almost every weekend. Louis had his bar mitzvah at 13 and continued to practice until he was a young adult. However, that wasn't actually his first religion. At 18, Louis found music and it attracted him. He played songs and in no time, he was out on the street banging drums with friends and collecting an audience. Louis says, the way of life was a musician. This was my first religion. Oh, wow. Music for many people in the West is like a god. This was my god. Interesting. Slowly but steadily, Louis started going viral as a musician and his songs were the hot new covers for many in his town. While some may have enjoyed the fame, it quickly started going downhill for Louis. His mental health was in shambles. Mm. He was confused whether music was actually what he wanted to pursue oh. and didn't know the direction his life was headed. Basically, the more success that came towards him, the more dissatisfied and unhappy he was. Louis felt as if the weight of the world was on his shoulders. It suffocated him. His chest was tight and stressful was the only feeling he felt for a long time. At a moment in time, a Muslim brother gifted Louis a copy of the Holy Quran translated in English. Louis wasn't looking to change faith, but he was confused and searching for peace. One night, while watching TV, he landed on BBC and watched their narrative of the secret life of things. It talked about evolution, the synchronized pattern of growth that hadn't changed for hundreds of millions of years, and how pristine the order of all chaos was. Louis found it fascinating. He says, I just saw it was amazing. This for me confirmed that there had to be a creator behind it because there was perfect order in the creation of the universe. From here, he didn't know where to go. On one hand, Louis didn't know any faith besides his music mm. and the one he was raised with, that is Judaism. But he had a copy of the Holy Quran. It was sitting idle on the shelf. Why not put it to good use and read it, he thought. Quickly, he got the Mus'haf out and started reciting the Surah Al-Fatiha. Then he read Surah Baqarah. And as soon as he read the 11th and 12th ayah, he was mind blown. The verses hit home. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 11 and 12, And when it is said to them, Do not cause corruption on the earth, they say, We are but reformers. Unquestionably, it is they who are the corruptors, but they perceive it not. Lewis says, I was around a lot of these kinds of people at this time. In the music industry, they try to show you that they want the best for you, but all they want is money and fame and success. The words of the Holy Quran had a strong effect on Louis. Mm. Out of 6,348 <coughs> verses of the Holy Quran, Louis fell in love with Islam 
in just two. Subhanallah. Louis Subhanallah. started reciting the Quran any chance he got. He took it to his bus commute every day, read it while on a break in the studio and at home until he had completely covered the book. While reading the Holy Quran, Louis felt light, free as a bird, mm. as if the weight of the world was lifted from his shoulders. The feeling was strange, but lovely, and that was the only green signal he needed. Louis went to the closest masjid he could find, and in his shaggy musician look requested that he wanted to convert to Islam. Mm. For a second, the Muslim men in the masjid were skeptical, mm. but they welcomed Louis with open arms and took him to the Imam. In his supervision, Louis testified his faith to Islam and said the Shahada. He was officially a Muslim man and for his first task as a Muslim, he changed his name to Ismail. Oh. Brother Ismail says, as soon as I said the Shahada, I felt as if a weight was lifted off my shoulders. All the problems I had before with certain people, I just felt as if there wasn't any problem anymore. I didn't know what I did to deserve the guidance of Allah. None of us could be grateful enough for it. Ismail rejoiced at the peace his new faith brought, but his tests weren't over yet. He still had to tell his parents. Brother Ismail sat them down one day and finally ripped off the bandage. As he expected, the news wreaked havoc on his family. His Jewish mother cried uh, as if she just yeah, heard yeah, that yeah. Louis had died. Well, absolutely. He tried consoling her but it was of no use. They were loving parents and their sadness devastated Ismail. However, he stood firm on his decision to become a Muslim and went with the flow of his parents' attitude towards him. After some time, he married his love and together the couple had a son named Ibrahim. Ibrahim was a straw that broke the camel's back and allowed his grandparents to reconcile with their son. Ismail was finally on good terms with his parents, and it felt like he was actually living now. He makes time to read the Holy Quran every day now. Subhanallah. May Allah bless him infinitely. Ameen. Why am I getting emotional at the end of this video? Yikes. Okay, so I think I know why. That was it for the watch, and we're done. Let's do the reaction. All right, guys, that was really cool. I like that. I I appreciate stories like those from, um, I think, from the perspective of not being understood. So I can just relate to so much in his journey. And it's just so funny how it's like, is it? Whether it be Christianity, whether it be Islam, whether it be Buddhism, it, whatever the religion is, we find similar stories where like it's like life takes you a certain way and then you end up here and then you gotta choose what you're gonna do you know and it's i i wanted to challenge also <clears throat> the narrator was speaking about religion being his god and he it sounded like he had admitted that that was his um not his god but his religion and i was saying to myself that like i don't know there were aspects of the commentary that i was saying to myself it really i don't feel like it had to do with him being a musician because i'm a musician i play a few instruments and I had they, we're not gonna well I'm not gonna do it turn around and say because I because he's a musician then this XYZ XYZ uh, no no not for me anyways um, and you know uh, my, my Christian beliefs teaches me other than the, the, the commentator as well but again this is a great video to just absorb because you just life doesn't stop no matter who you are no matter who you are, life doesn't stop. And these days, everybody's experiencing life. You could be five years old, you're you're experiencing life. And it's just, it's just, I think that reality of it, when it started getting closer to the point where it said he had, where he had his child and he met his wife and all that stuff, named the child um, Ab um, Abraham, Abraham, right? And yeah, man. You guys really know how to get me with these videos. This is great. I really appreciate this. Thanks again uh, for watching with me. Again, if you have any comments, any questions, anything you want to discuss, I do pay attention in the comments. I try to get to them as soon as I can. Um, and I love having conversations. So if you want to take some time and talk, then let's take some time and talk. This is Khalil. And thank you for spending some time with me. Have a wonderful evening, morning, or night. Take care. Be good.